Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. Necrom has been out for a few days now. We've been streaming it, we've been playing it, we've been really enjoying playing the Arcanist tank, and we've been getting through a lot of content. Now, one of the big questions I've been getting asked probably a hundred times already is what is the best race for the Arcanist tank? Now, this is not a simple answer for this question because there is a variety of different options. It's very open with the Arcanist tank with a lot of different things because of how they have some really nice passives and they're able to access a lot of buffs and benefits quite easily. So the first thing is, when it comes to the Nord race, that's typically used by a lot of classes thanks to the resistances that they have. Now, the big difference with the Arcanist tank is it's not as predominantly needed because you've got the major and minor resolve, you've got increased uh, resistances from your passive, that gives nearly 2,000 resistances. When you use Ruinic Sunder, that steals resistances. So you reduce the enemy's resistances by 2,200 and you gain those. So it's super easy to reach the resistance cap on an Arcanist tank. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can either go with the Nord. And by being a Nord, you're probably going to be over the resistance cap. But what it does mean is you don't need any reinforced gear. You don't need any champion points that give you resistances. You don't need to worry about any of those things. So you can still go with a Nord and then you don't have to use anything that boosts your resistances in other ways. Now on the flip side to that, because that is the only thing you're going to benefit, if you kind of would rather have your Bulwark CP for example, you can still keep that and then just not use a Nord. And what you could use instead would be something like the Red Guard or the Imperial to try and improve your stamina sustain. So one of the particular issues I've kind of had with the Arcanist myself is the stamina sustain is a little bit tricky in comparison to some other classes. The Magicka sustain is unbelievable. Now, you can obviously make things a bit easier for yourself. If you block less, you're going to benefit from the huge stamina recovery they have. So there's those kinds of things there as well. Now, one of the other things you could do is you could focus your attention on choosing the best healer or damage dealer race. And the reason for that is you only get two character slots for the Arcanist, and maybe you want to have a tank healer and a damage dealer. So the prime example would be to go with a damage dealer and then obviously use that as your tank. Or you get a healer with a Breton and then use that as your tank because there is no absolutely essential race for an Arcanist tank. You don't need to be a Nord because you can get the resistance cap without even really trying. If you did want to be a Nord and adjust your CP and your gear traits in other ways, then obviously just choose something else. But I do think a Red Guard and Imperial can be quite useful to help with that sustain a little bit. If you use cost reduction jewellery, I wouldn't go with the Imperial because cost reduction stacked with more cost reduction is also not very good. So you can kind of see the issue here. There is no one set race that's better than the others for the Arcanist tank. It's very different from all the other classes. That is pretty much everything for this video, guys. A big shout out to all of our YouTube members, our Twitch subscribers, our patrons, everybody who supports the Tank Club content. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.